What's up you guys? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. I cannot believe it is a Vlogmas Day 4 already. I mean it's a lot of work but it's going by pretty fast. So I'm waiting for yesterday's video to upload and then John and I are about to go to Walmart. And today might be a shorter day just because it's like raining outside and I had to work today. So I want to go ahead and play you guys Mochi's BarkBox unboxing video. So I filmed it last week with Mochi and I really haven't had a place to post it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and play it for you guys right now. Stop, stop trying to lick my face. I put some chapstick on and now he wants to lick my face. You ready to open your BarkBox? Okay. So we have Mochi's November Bark Box. So it came in late because his one year subscription ended. I didn't have it on renewal, but he had four months that he had earned from you guys watching these videos. And since, <laughs> since he had four years that he had earned from people using his coupon code, this is one of his four free boxes that he will get. I'm not sure if you use Mochi the Corgi. I'm not sure if you're going to get to the, uh, the discount, but try Mochi the Corgi. See if it'll give you your one month for free. And if it doesn't, there are plenty of YouTubers that have codes. Okay, we'll open the box. Oh, let's all fall. First thing that has came out of the box. <laughs> Stop. Hey, patience. Lamb ears. So like I've said before, Mochi gets the allergy friendly box. So so Bark Box is great for when your pet has allergies. They are able to kind of custom fit the box for your animal. So for Mochi, he can't have beef and he can't have chicken. So they make sure, well, they make sure not to put any sort of beef or poultry items. So he has some little lamb ears. Um, but if your dog is allergic to something else, you can just specify what it is and they'll help you out. Next thing is a toy. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. Stop it. So he loves these kind of toys where it is like a cup and then there's two toys that you have to dig out of the cup. <laughs> and they're little apples and they're in a little barrel and... Yeah, these have a little speaker. Yeah? You want, you want to take, take it out? <laughs> you are too cute. Mochi's box didn't come on time, and that's when I realized that something was wrong. So I went to his account and realized that his one year subscription was up. And when I saw <laughs> when I saw that that was one of the toys, I was really bummed because I was like, oh my gosh, that's a toy that he would really, really love. So the fact that that happened to be the toy that came is amazing. There's no And not only is it only $20, but it is hours of entertainment mochi. He's pushing the box away. He definitely knows this drill. You ready? Next thing in the box is Muttmellows. And they look, look, they're all pumpkin spice flavored for him so he can be basic pup. Right, you're gonna be a basic pup. Okay, I'll give you one now. It smells good. It smells like a pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice latte, pumpkin spice frappuccino. Oh my God, it smells good. It smells really, really good. Next, in the box. Oh my gosh, we were just talking about pumpkin spice. Look, he has a little pumpkin spice frappuccino. <laughs> Is this your pumpkin? Is this your pumpkin spice? Oh, I am so glad that we did not miss this box because last year I think that was my favorite box. We got a little pumpkin pie. It was adorable. Do you like the dollop of whipped cream? <laughs> I like me put this little paw on top. <laughs> so last but not least. Bacon mac and cheese medley. So it's another treat. This looks like it's a crunchy treat that has, 
like it has like dried bacon and cheese inside of it and it's wheat free all natural healthy so here's a little leaf and it just kind of shows would you stop it's not a treat so it just shows the different uh combinations and options of things that you could have got this month and if you didn't get something that you wanted that was in the box you can go to their website and purchase it you got the little apples you got the pumpkin spice latte, but I don't see it on here. It shows you a little puppy treat recipe that you can... Oh, mochi sap! You're gonna cause problems, okay? I think that that is enough for this vlog. I hope you really enjoyed it. It's been a while since we've done a unboxing vlog. If you've tried BarkBox or anything like it that you really liked, let us know because we've only ever done BarkBox and I think that he would really love trying other toys and treats. Um, as long as there's like a allergy friendly option. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a blessed day and we will talk to you again later. This is the kind of day we're dealing with you guys. It's nice and gross. This weird weather. Okay, so I'm waiting for John. He needs to run in to work to do something really quick, but then we're gonna run to Walmart. I want to show you what I printed for me keeping myself on track for keto. Okay, so this is actually like a kid's sticker chart um, for like when they've done a good job. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use one of these for a weight loss chart and use one of these for a food tracking chart. So the weight loss one, I will give myself a star maybe once a week or so if I lost weight. And then for the other chart, I think I am going to put a star per day if I ate well and I stayed below my carbs. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you've ever used a incentive chart or anything like that. Also, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking about every now and then letting myself have like a reward for so many stickers. So let me know of some reward ideas that aren't super expensive, but just reward ideas. I'll let you know when I get this set up more. Walmart. Temptations. Ugly Christmas sweaters. So after digging for a little bit, I found quite a few of these little cubby things. It was kind of hard to find 12 of them. These are gonna be for John's room. These are going to be, I don't know, either the living room or the art room. And then these will go either in the living room or the art room. So when I bought the furniture for our house that was on the Walmart website, I really, really liked this. And I saw it on the website and I had it in the list to order. But then when I went to check out like a couple days later, they didn't have this color anymore. They only had that like really brown looking color. So I was really disappointed. And then now John and I were looking around. John pointed this out and I was like, oh my God. And it's really low, which is great because our sofa is super short. So I'm super happy John found those because I really wanted to buy them before, but they weren't on the website anymore when I tried to check out, so. Like if we had a big bedroom, this would be really cool to put in front of the bed. That's really neat. They never have corgis. Still not a corgi. So we just got back earlier from Walmart. We had dinner. And look, I put the new tablecloth on. Look how cute it is. Look at the fox and the deer. Super cute. I just stuck the hat on the table because I don't have a centerpiece. Mochi's eating dinner. All right, so I'm gonna put those together in a different vlog. We got our new trash can for the kitchen, which is going to be great because we won't have to hang the bags from the cabinets anymore. These are going to go in the craft room. Okay, you guys. Well, I think that is it for the vlog. I am super pooped. I have a lot of respect for daily vloggers, especially those of you who have jobs as well. I mean, because daily vlogging itself is a lot of work. I mean, it's a lot of fun, but it's a lot of work. Okay, so I know I didn't really vlog as much today, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thank you for watching Vlogmas Day 4, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye!